Yo, yo, what is up? <laughs> I'm going to start talking about my last ayahuasca experiences, what I learned from it, what it was like, uh, if it was good or bad, what I went through, what the retreat was like, all this shit. So this isn't about stuttering, but of course, everything connects to stuttering because stuttering isn't a speech issue. It's a personal issue coming up as a speech issue. It's something internal going on inside of you that you're not dealing with. That once you deal with it, you will uh, overcome your stutter. So I'm going to have my tea. I'm going to drink it. And this isn't going to be a formal video. I'm going to talk to you like you're my homie. I'm just going to tell you about my experience with ayahuasca this last time. Okay, so let's go. So this wasn't my, my first I, my first ayahuasca experience, I've done one before, and it was a 10-day re retreat. And inside these 10 days, I did it four times. And just briefly talking about these four um, ceremonies I, I had before. Um, the first one was fucking crazy. I took a, just a cup, and uh, it was fucking insane. It, I couldn't control, like, of course you can't control ayahuasca, but it was just so insanely sent me off and I've taken mushrooms and I've taken acid and I think at before this time I did no nah. yeah I've done mushrooms and acid before this so I know what a real trip feels like but I just this was fucking wild and it was so so intense and I tripped for four hours and they sent us back to our huts I tripped for another like two or three hours in my own hut by myself super scared still throwing up it was a crazy the second trip set the second ceremony was I was like I felt like I was on ecstasy I've never I never did ecstasy before but if I were to assume it feel like this I loved everyone I felt connected to everyone when they were throwing up I felt joy because I'm like they're getting shit out like I loved everything um and I felt like mother ayahuasca at that time kind of took it easy on me like I, I fucked you up <laughs> last ceremony here's a little calm calm down and i feel like it set me up to take a big drink um, on my third trip because i felt a lot more connected to her i felt like I, I could trust her more because she was easy on me so on the next trip i took another full cup or close to a full cup and um the the cups own is only like a shot glass oh, fucking tastes horrible though um and the third trip was one of the best experiences of my life it took me through so many journeys, so many realizations. I'm not going to talk about here, but it's just like it guided me through so much shit. And internally, I felt full of love, like the most love I could possibly, possibly feel. I felt I promise you the most trust I could possibly, possibly feel. I felt I promise you I was fucking maxed out. I was fucking if. I swear to God, I was glowing with all this love and energy and trust. And it was amazing. It was such a healing experience. And um, the fourth trip was the most challenging night of my life. It was bellig belligerently painful. Like constantly negative thinking over and over and over again. I wouldn't even finish a negative thought and another one would start Every split second, it was like, bah, 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 for four hours straight. I was like in this dark, dark hole, getting spun or spun around. My head was just spinning and spinning and spinning. I couldn't even tell the shamans, like, I need help. They came to ask me, are you okay? But I was throwing up so much. And I would, this little, like, devil thing inside of me told me, tell them you don't need help. Tell them you don't need help. So I'm like, I'm good. I'm good, but I was going through fucking hell. And it was like four hours of pure that. Um, nothing but negativity and throwing up and spinning. Um, but it felt like years. But it was one of the most challenging nights of my life. So those were my last four experiences really quick. There was a lot of lessons in them and amazing, amazing experiences, especially the fourth one where, where it felt like shit. The next day after, I don't think I've ever been more happy in my life. Like, it's crazy how that 
all that purging got so much shit out. Anyway, let's talk about the last experience that I had. I just did it one time. It was one night and it was like with like 50 people. My first four were with like eight people. This was with like 50 people. And so we got there. And um, the musicians were playing and stuff for a few hours before. And it came to like 1 a.m. I think it was 1 a.m. Where we took our first drink, which is fucking late. Like I didn't get any sleep at all. It was stupid why it was done like that. But anyway, it was like 1 a.m. I took my first drink. And I laid down. And I started to feel a little something. I started to have some thoughts. But two hours went by and I like snapped out of this like haze that I was in or this kind of trance. And I'm like, I don't remember anything that happened in the last two hours. Not one thing. And I feel like ayahuasca has completely, completely left my body. And I took a, like a full shot. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but I felt so tense in my chest that if I were to take another, another drink, I wouldn't hold it down. So I didn't want to take another drink. And I went and talked over to the person that I came with. And I'm like, are you feeling anything? And she's like, no. And she's like, you want to take another drink? And I'm like, no, I don't. But she like said it again. And I'm like, actually, fuck it. I'll be disappointed if, if I didn't. Let's take another drink. So I took another full shot. And I laid down. And this time... Um, This time, ayahuasca, it wasn't guiding me through anything. It was simply just telling me things I already knew. I didn't feel lost. I still felt fucking grounded and I'm here. I'm at this retreat. I'm really not feeling anything. And it was just telling me things that I already knew. Things about my business, things about my relationships, blah, 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 blah. Things I already knew, but I didn't fully embrace and accept and start taking action on. And then the next two hours were just fucking negativity. Just pure crazy thoughts in my brain. Just like that fourth experience of my first time. Crazy thoughts in my brain. Being super, super fucking aware of my body. Like the person that I came with, since I wasn't tripping that hard and she was like, felt like she was on ecstasy. She like kind of came, came over and and cuddled with me at times and with on ayahuasca I don't know if that's the best thing to do but I was aware of every inch of me I was trying to make myself as comfortable as possible for her and I was like aware of every joint I was like is this joint right here in the perfect place for her is this joint in the perfect place is this finger like I was aware of Fucking every inch of my toe, every inch of my shin, every inch of my kneecap was like, ah, ah, be perfect, be perfect, be perfect. And I was fucking in, like, it's like I was insane, like an insane person. And I was so like, I was almost sweating because of how perfect I tried to make myself. And after some time of us like holding each other, I just threw up. There was just so much negativity in my brain. And anytime she would like come back to me, I'd feel the sense of throw of throwing up. And one time she would just like started speaking to me and I had to throw up. I'm like, what the fuck is happening right now? Uh, and um, then the trip ended. And the trip only told me everything I already knew. And it was like repulsing me from the girl that I came with at times and I was like this fucking sucked <laughs> this fucking sucked right I, I thought I thought it sucked but something crazy happens here I thought the trip sucked and um, I went back home and I wasn't feeling the best like I was fucking tired tripped to like 8 a.m. because I took two doses not tripped I was just feeling like I was on ayahuasca till 8 a.m. like Stayed in bed till 10, I think. 
walked, walked, walked around a bit, left at 12. And um, what's, what's crazy and why I think this is one, one of my, if not the best ayahuasca experience that I had is because I came in with the intention to really get clear on what's going on inside of me. Really get clear on um, what I should do in my next life, in my next life, in my next steps in life. Because I was debating between going to Mexico with a few friends from Colombia that I met here, but that didn't really feel right to me. And then I was debating going back to Vancouver to get my vaccine so I can go travel to Finland and see other clients and things like that. And um, I didn't know. There was a bunch of uncertainty in my brain because if I didn't choose Mexico, I would hurt so I would hurt two p pe- two people for sure because they were banking on if I didn't go, they wouldn't go, and they really wanted to go. And I didn't want to hurt them, but something internally was telling was telling me to to um, not go, and also like in that type of dynamic entanglement relationship type of thing I had with someone here in Colombia, ayahuasca was telling me to, um, like right now is not the right time for it. And this is something I already thought, but I couldn't consciously realize because it seems like she was perfect, but it just, it wasn't fulfilling me the way that I like work did and helping people who stutter did. So internally I knew like this, this isn't vibing with me. This isn't the right time. But I didn't accept it because it seemed like she was perfect. Um, so anyway, it was just tell, it was t- telling me these things over and over and over again. And by the time I got back home, I was disappointed and it sucked. And I was with the person that I came with, the, the person I'm in a type of, it's not a relationship. It's just like we like each other a lot. And um, we're here in Colombia, and we lived at the same house. That's how we met, and things like that. And um, like we came back to the place, and we have this type of dynamic where if I feel something that is off in me, and it's making me feel like shit, and something that is connected to her, or I have doubts or something, I'll explain it so I don't repress it and hold it in. And like we were in my room, I, or she was in my room, I was in the shower, I came out of the shower and I just noticed something was different about her. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna call you out here or call, call me out here. I feel like you're a bit disconnected right now from me, is that true? And she goes, I have no idea how you realized, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I was disconnected but I'm here now. I'm like, no, let's, let's, let's talk about it. Why were you disconnected? Blah, blah, blah. And this is like pretty personal and it's about like her life as well. So I don't want to explain why she felt disconnected, but anyway, came to the conclusion she was disconnected and she ended up telling me something, why she was disconnected. She told, told me why she was feeling disconnected And this reason why she was feeling disconnected, I I haven't explained yet, but before the trip, we went to an ayahuasca, we sat there and we listened to music at the retreat. I felt extremely anxious because of something that was was going on, like that she was doing, and like some dynamic between her and the rest of the environment. I know I'm being extremely broad here, but I just don't want to explain something that she may not want cleared out on the internet. But anyway, all you have to understand is I felt anxious because I thought something was was going on between her and her environment. And I thought I was going fucking crazy though, because there was no backing to why this would be happening. There's no backing to why she would feel this way or be acting this way. Um, before we took that drink and it was making me anxious because I'm like, am I just so anxious? I'm making shit up in my brain. Am I just so fucking like, do I have such low self-esteem right now? Uh, like it was driving me insane. Like I felt so, so low, so, so fucking low right before we took the drink. And 
I'm like, what the fuck? I haven't felt this way in like four years. Like I'm driving myself fucking crazy. This is insane. But deep down, I knew it was for a reason. And this is the fucking reason why I felt this, this, this way. Because when I asked her, if she's feeling disconnected. The reason why she's feeling disconnected was because she was thinking back to when I was feeling super anxious and what was going on with her in with her environment with the people around it was actually true to what i was thinking and this is where this shit all can all connects and why this experience was fucking amazing because i was doubting myself that i th i thought i was making shit up in my mind about what was going on and i was beating myself up for even thinking those thoughts but in reality, it was actually happening. It was actually, actually happening. And there was no backing to it. Like no one could, could really see this was, hap this, was hap this was happening. It was just a feeling. It was just a feeling that, that I had. And now this, this is where this fucking trip all makes sense. Is because when I realized that, when she told me that in the bedroom, that this was actually happening, um it it hurt and of course you don't know why it, why it would hurt but it hurt but overall it's so fucking freeing because all that showed was my gut intuition was right and this is where it gets fucking exciting because i then realized why my ayahuasca trip was so fucking bland and boring and only told me things i already knew such as I should go back to Vancouver, such as um, this isn't the right time for me in this relationship, such as I should focus on like completely emerge myself in, in work and things like this. It was already tell, telling me this shit. But this experience where I realized my gut was right really, really proved and really, really proved that I should trust myself and I shouldn't doubt myself at all because it wasn't just this experience of like, oh, I realized that I was right in that moment that was actually happening, but there was like one or two other things that happened between that, that I was like beating, beating myself up for, but it ended up to be true. And all this shit was happening. I realized I, ayahuasca, was just telling me things I already knew, but I didn't trust myself enough to believe it and take action on it. And when I came to this realization, which was just like two, two days ago, it was so fucking freeing because now I, now I know for sure that I can fully trust myself. And this makes decisions, life decisions, so fucking easy now. Cause I don't have to like, pro and con fucking oh is this gonna be good this one good i don't have to do that with if i'm going out for food and say which one do i want blah 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 i don't have to do this when i'm deciding where i'm going to spend my time or whatever all i have to do is go internal see how i feel and go with that it may not always be right but it is coming from love and it's coming from an intuition that my brain can't think of and of course i already already consciously knew this i already knew my gut smarter than my brain but having an experience like having an experience like this where i can see clearly that my gut was right and the ayahuasca just gave me this experience because it needed me to see i already knew all the fucking answers that what i wanted to do in my life i just needed to trust my gut enough to do it and I cannot tell you how fucking freeing that is where you have full self-trust in your own feelings, where you can base life decisions off of it. It is so fucking freeing. And it, even if your brain thinks this is wrong or this is scary or this is too big of a move, you, you can lay back and, re and relax and knowing I'm going with my gut, it knows the best. Things will work out as long as I continue to live aligned with it. And even it will get you past hard times where you think, oh, I'm going through resistance. My gut was wrong. 
I, I will still have that self-trust because of this intensely emotional experience that I had. And I know ayahuasca was just showing me this because this is what I needed most in my life right now is the self-trust that I can make life decisions with just trusting myself. And if I trust myself, it will work out the best. And I can't tell you how fucking valuable that is. And there's a lesson in that for all of us though. Just be, I'm like the fucking guinea pig that just went to ayahuasca to share with you this, this lesson, like this fucking truth is that if you feel something and it's strong and it's repetitive telling you something, there is something to it. I don't care how much anxiety you have. I don't care how much worry and overthinking you have. If you feel like it's true and it's repetitive and it's telling you this, at least ask a question. I, I, at least ask the person or ask the environment or ask something like, is this really happening? And do you feel the same way? And have the courage to, to, be, vul to be vulnerable and also have the courage to just base decisions off of how you feel. And I know that's con contra contradictory advice to what a lot of people say. And I, I agree in terms of like, oh, if you're afraid to to like start this star, this stuttering program, don't listen to your fear because internally you'll have the answer internally, like very, very internally, your intuition will have the answer, but your fears and shit, you should be able to distinct your fears from your gut feeling, but go with your gut feeling, trust it and trust it has the best intentions for you and it'll make decisions so much fucking easier. And it'll make you, yeah, it'll just make you, give you the ability to make this decisions without the regret, without the worry, without the overthinking. You can just say, okay, I'm feeling this way, let's do it. And it comes across in speech as well, that if you wanna say something, you'll be much more likely and compelled to say the thing just based off the self-trust that this is the right thing to say. Even if it's not, even if you get resistance, it's still the right thing for you to say in the moment because you felt it. And it will always grant you the results you, that are most connected, most aligned with you in life. If you say the things, if you do the things that are most connected to, with, most connected to you right now. But if you try to filter it and arrange what you wanna to say to please other people and prove yourself, you're only going to get a disconnection in your life with the people in your life and the events in your life, and it won't be truly connected with you. So developing this self-trust is so, so fucking essential. And I just want to give, I want to invite you right now to have that self-trust, to practice a self-trust, to have that feeling inside of you that says I should do this. And instead of questioning it, please just take a step of courage and fucking do it and then see what happens. I'm gonna invite you to do that because I feel like this will resonate with a lot of people based upon the life situation you're in right now. If you have a repetitive feeling and it's something you're doubting yourself, you have anxiety about, ask the other person or ask the situation or environment or what, what, whatever that means to you right now. And if it's just something you feel is true something you feel is true you should make a move or you should change your life in some way change your job whatever it may be fucking do it like just fucking do it you've been thinking this way for weeks or months and it's you feel and years you feel this is true don't if, if you don't listen to your gut you won't ever fully trust yourself trust your emotions trust your feelings and getting in tune with how you feel and making decisions off of it is scary as fuck, especially if you're a logical person. But oftentimes your brain can't pick up on things that our gut can. So really trust yourself and trust your intuition. And that's my invitation to you. And that's what I wanted to share about my ayahuasca experience. And I look forward to my next one. I don't feel like I need one in fucking years because that's how I always feel anytime after, I, anytime after ayahuasca 
or shrooms or anything, I'm like, I'm good for fucking two years. And it has been like two or three years since my last ayahuasca experience. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share. And I hope it was in, in, interesting at, at least. And at best, I, I hope it connected with you in some way because it is fucking crazy. Okay, I love you. And I'll see you in my next video where I talk about stuttering and shit, the fun stuff. But I wanted to share, share this with you as well. Have a great rest of your day and talk soon.